So you want to turn curves into meshes. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to turn curves into meshes. Um, it, it's a little different in 2.8, so I want to get started. I'm going to hit delete on default cube. Goodbye default cube. I'm going to hit shift A to add in a curve. This can be a bezier curve or whatever, but I'm going to use that for today. Hit tab on my keyboard to go into edit mode. We'll hit G to grab one of these um, these points. Then we'll just hit E to extrude, you know, E to extrude it all the way around, R to rotate it, E to extrude, all the way around, rotate it, E, rotate, and then we'll select uh, this vertice, and then hold down shift and grab that one, hit F to create a face, and that's a little messed up, so we'll move it over like that, you know, maybe something like that, yeah, that's good, so we can hit uh, tab to go out of edit mode, now we have this really weird shape, right, if I were to select all of these by hitting A, go out of edit mode, go to object, convert to, mesh from curve meta surf text and then go ahead and go back into edit mode you can see now we have a bunch of vertices these are all vertices now so now we do have an object which is nice but if i uh, want to fill this in i can hit f but it creates one giant face and it's really weird and messed up and we can't do that because there's no there's no vertices in between all these so it's going to act weird and stuff so we we can fix this by going ahead undoing that and selecting uh, four vertices, uh, or, you know, two, we don't have to be four, but we can select just uh, four of these right here. Hit F to create a face. Actually, I want to just do two. Let's just do two, yeah. So we'll hit uh, this guy. Uh, we'll do three instead of two. Uh, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Then we'll go ahead and go to edge select mode. Select this edge that we just created right there. And hit F over and over again to create a bunch of faces, which is just one of the coolest things ever. You can see it just fills in all of those faces that way until we get to the end there and fill them all in. That is the super coolest thing. And now it has a shape to it. You can see none of the vertices are messed up. And the most important thing is, is now we have a bunch of vertices we can play around with and we have the edges to go along with that. If we want to split this in half, we can do a couple different things, but I'm just, I'm just going to use the knife tool for today. So we'll select the knife tool. We'll click once right there. And then we'll go down a little bit. We'll go down, up, up, over, and all the way across like that. Hit enter on my keyboard. Now we have an edge loop in the middle. We can hit control B to bevel this a little bit and get a couple, get another uh, edge in there. You don't want to go too far though because we will mess this up over here. We can do that as many times as we need to. You don't have to do that. But, uh, but yeah, we will be back in a different video. This is a pretty cool way to... Uh, to get to your curves as meshes, which is the which is one of the sweetest things that will help with modeling a lot. We don't do a lot of modeling with curves. We're going to start doing that in the future, hopefully. But uh, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye bye.